my Fistra glass water filter feature. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan. Today in this video, I'm going to unbox, take a look at for my first impressions and set up the Lifestra glass water filter feature. I'm going to un unbox from the beginning. So this is how it came. And then there's the like, you know, Am Amazon box. So I see they, you know, put in several boxes. The first one was the Amazon box, then this box. And then you have to take it out of here. And that's going to be the original box for the picture. So let me just put this aside here. So you can see that this is a seven cup glass water filter. And I was able to only find uh, a glass water filter in this brand. So I checked like, you know, many other um, water filter pictures, but I was not able to find anything made of glass. All of them are made of plastic. So this is the only one I can uh, find which is made of glass. Then uh, let's uh, take a quick look at uh, some of the specs. Uh, this is bacteria and parasites free, lead, mercury, and heavy metals, chemicals, PFA, pesticide, herbicide, microplastic, and improves taste. Now, another factor which made me uh, buy this picture is that microplastics, I was looking for a filter which you know removes uh, microplastic sorry and this is the only one that was able to remove microplastic or it, it you know says that it is going to microplastic so that's what made me buy this one and another good thing that you know if you buy their product and then this is going to uh, feed a child in need receives water safe for entire year so that's another thing good thing i like and let's see what we have here. So here are some of the specifications and here are some of the like, you know, uh, features. And uh, I'm not going to go too deep into this. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly put it a little bit closer. And if you need to find out more, just, you know, pause the video and just get it from there. So now let's start the unboxing process. Okay, so here's the thank you card, and this is the same thing I mentioned. A child gets uh, safe water for one year, and this looks like carbon filter. Let me just make, a sh uh, make sure here. Yeah, so you can see that it says carbon filter right there, and what's in the box? Uh, they have a, like, you know, set up instructions, which I'm going to show you shortly, and on this side, how to clean and maintain your life straw uh, pitcher. And it has the two uh, two filters. One is like you know micro filter, and one is a carbon filter. And this one is you should change every one year uh, based on how you use. Uh, like you know for my place, it's like you know one to two persons only, so probably it's gonna last longer. And the carbon filter it tells you here every two months, and I think I can push that to every six months easily because you know we are less people so this is like an every two months for a family that's what i'm guessing and if you have uh, to store or cleaning all the instructions are here and here are all the instructions on how to set up so you have to rinse it first but do not rinse the like you know filters i think it's going to damage it now let's look at it take a look at uh, take out this one which has to be the glass okay so oh something fell so you can see that this is like a paper packaging and what fell right here is a brochure or manual so there's another brochure uh, this is like you know I think if you go into details and this one uh, if you are just uh, quick uh, kind of quick manual kind of thing okay so now let's take out our picture and the box is empty so you can see there's nothing in the box so let's take out the picture Okay, so this is the picture, how it looks like. You can see that this is not too small, not too big, very good size. Comparing to my uh, last water uh, 
zero water let's just take a look at for a quick comparison and you can see that uh, this is kind of like you know taller uh, but in terms of wider i think it's kind of very similar but it's just kind of like you know uh, taller and on the top is going narrower so let's put this back here and here they have some scotch tapes let me just uh, remove these okay I'll put it here and I think this should come out okay so you can see that this came out and this is the filter base or filter house uh, how whatever you call it and this is I think this is how you fill up water and if you want to take it out let's see how to do so okay so this part you can see that coming out and I can see the micro filter in there and looks like you have to remove it from the bottom so it's a bit tight because this is new okay so I had to push a bit harder and then it came out and this is the micro filter and I can see the things here so now you have to like you know wash these and once you're ready you're going to take out the carbon filter and install it here so guys i'm going to wash this and this and this and the pitcher now i didn't show you this comes off easily so you have to just kind of like you know remove it so i'm just going to wash this now and uh, that they, they told you the manual to use uh, soft detergent so this is a very like you know soft detergent or very gentle uh, detergent so it should not be an issue at all so let me just uh, finish the washing so I washed each and every part you can uh, remove except the filters now let me just rinse it and I'm just going to wait for a few minutes to let it dry a little bit it doesn't have to be like you know 100% so let me just uh, you know rinse this thoroughly and then I'm gonna wait just let it dry so our washing and drying is done another thing they mentioned to run cold water to the carbon filter for about uh, one minute so I'm just going to do that this is cold water okay so let's put it back so I'm just going to insert it this way and then this carbon filter should be in here this way or this way okay I think it should be this way then if you put it back then actually I can feel the gentle sliding it in and this is a little tight I think just to prevent the water leakage okay so I think this should be good enough now this way it has to be like this okay and where's the cover here and I'm going to put the silicon base back now glass is very good but it's good only if you don't break it so when you're using this be very careful because if you break the glass uh, pitcher then I think you're done you're gonna have to buy it again and this is like you know going for 70 to 90 dollars Canadian on Amazon and when I bought it I was looking for the blue one but it was sold out 
But then once I finished buying it, I found out that they are back. So I kind of feel bad that I couldn't get the blue one. Okay, so the silicon base is firm. And let's see how you close this one. So this part here has to match with this part just by looking at it. I have a feeling. Actually, I can just do it maybe even before I putting it in. And you can see that it's a good match. And okay, so it looks like I have to push this all the way. I was a little bit afraid to push it, but I think that's the way it is. And you can see this kind of like, you know, uh, curve here. This has to match with uh, this part. That's where the water is going to come out. So you kind of match them together. And just like, you know, you have to put a bit pressure and it's going to go down all the way in. Now, you can see that it's all the way in. Then what you have to do, uh, you're going to fill up the water and then you have to just cover it this way. Uh, you can looks like you can fill up water this way or you can just remove it this way. But let me fill up water and they mentions to uh, not to drink the first uh, batch of water after filtering. So I'm just going to, you know, let it run and filter for the first batch of water. Then we'll see how the taste is. So it looks like it works with putting water from the upside. You don't have to actually remove this. Up, up. Okay. So I don't know how slow or fast is this. Uh, you can see water is coming out now. So you can see it there. But it's not like uh, very fast. I think it's going to take a while. But it's not very slow either. It's somewhere in the middle. Uh, the Brita is uh, not Brita. This is the uh, zero water I had before. It was very fast, like, you know, uh, pouring water. But this is okay. So I'm just going to, you know, let it uh, run for first time and then drink the water and see how it uh, tastes like. Hey guys, so I uh, filled up the pitcher for like a couple of times and then I'm just going to quickly drink uh, for, for the first time and see if I can tell any difference. So if, uh, how does it taste like? I don't get any aftertaste or filter taste or anything. You know, it just tastes fine. It just tastes like, you know, uh, pure uh, regular water. So that part, like, you know, it's not giving like you know, any uh, filter taste or any like you know, weird uh, tasting water. So it feels like perfectly fine. So yeah, that should be good. Now, one thing I noticed that the water, um, filtering process takes a very long so if you just like you know uh, need water then my recommendation would be just fill it up long before because it's not going to happen that you know you ran out of water and you're just putting water and want it right away it takes some time so for that reason um, just do the process ahead of your you know drinking time or whenever you need water so except that everything uh, seems to be fine Let's see how long this lasts. Uh, that's the only thing I'm afraid about because, you know, glass is good, but it's not good if you break it. But except that, uh, the, my main reasons uh, to switch to this uh, water pitcher is because of the glass, number one. And the other one is the microplastics. Uh, uh, I think, uh, according to my research, I was not able to find any other water pitcher which uh, removes microplastic. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.